On this episode, I'm gonna share with you what the number one thing is that you need to do in order to grow your personal brand on social media. Hey, what's going on everyone? Carlos here, welcome to another episode of Real Talk, my all new series in which I interview interesting guests in the world of business and answer your questions on social media. So today's question comes to me from Brian who is a follower on Instagram. Brian recently reached out to me with this question. He's 23 years old, he works in marketing, and he wants to know, what does he need to do in order to grow his personal brand on Instagram? Is it using hashtags? Is he engaging with influencers? And you know what, Brian, this is a question that I get asked a lot, whether I'm at conferences or throughout platforms like Instagram or Snapchat, I always get asked, from folks such as yourself. What do you have to do in order to grow your brand? And here's always been my answer. My answer to you was a little shorter because I knew this was a really good question that I wanted to answer here in the studio, the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center. So insert platform here. Regardless if it's Instagram or Snapchat or YouTube, you have to have two things that you do really well, and that's engage, so have conversations, and you have to have tenacity. And what I mean by this, I'm gonna start with tenacity, is you're not going to grow your personal brand overnight. It's just not gonna happen. You and I are competing in a very loud environment and a crowded ocean with a lot of other individuals that have much farther reach and much more following. And I don't wanna say that to discourage you, but I wanna keep it real. Again, this is about real talk. For someone like myself that's been in this industry now, working in social media, it's taken me eight years to this point where I'm at today, sitting in a studio recording very polished content, which is the result of networking and engaging both on social media and in person. So where I'm going with all this leads me back to my first point, which is conversation. You have to speak to as many folks as you possibly can while creating content. A lot of marketers will tell you that content is king, And I actually say that's not true. Community is king, and content is what you serve your community for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I would challenge you to start focusing on building a community before you really go out and aspire to build this large brand. We all wanna have the following, we all wanna have the reach, but the reality is this, Brian. If you are able to build a community with 100 really engaged, followers, whether it's on IG or on Snap or on Twitter or on YouTube, and those 100 followers really like what you're putting out content-wise throughout the day or on a weekly basis, then guess what? That community over the long term is going to help you grow because now those 100 people are going to go ahead and share you out and they're going to pimp you out to their networks. And I look at it like this. Right now, I have a following that exceeds over 100,000 followers if I were to add up those that follow me across social media. But the reality is if I were to really do an inventory of who really follows me, I probably have somewhere between two to 300 real followers. And what I mean is these are individuals that are consistently engaging. When I post something on Snapchat, they're the first ones that send me a direct message. When I post something on Instagram, they're the first ones that like or they comment or they regram. So put the focus not so much on the vanity metrics and put the focus more on building the community. And this goes hand in hand with building your personal brand. What niche do you wanna be in? What industry do you wanna serve? Who are you as an individual? Let's take a step back and really analyze that. So the content, for example, that I put on social media is very business focused. But the reality is that I like sports, I like eating, I like cooking, I like fashion. If these were items that I would be talking about often on social media, I'd be able to take a picture of my outfit for the day or my Cole Haan shoes, which sometimes I do, or my haircuts, which I do a lot. For those of you that follow me, you know. And now I can share this content on a platform like Instagram and hashtag it up. And now that content expands my reach out to other mediums. So again, really do a self-assessment of what are the things that you like? What do you wanna show the world? And most importantly, how do you wanna inspire those in the community that you build? If you're able to do this consistently over time, then you will be able to grow your personal brand. And it's up to you how far you wanna take that personal brand. Do you wanna write books? Do you wanna be speaking at conferences? That's totally up to you. But the second part of that is what I said earlier, which is tenacity. This is a long-term play. You have to be consistent with engaging your community and creating content for them if you wanna have a decent shot. 
You know, there, there's people out there that are into fitness and bodybuilding. There's a lot of bikini models on Instagram. And if that's the space that someone aspires to be in, you have to go into this with a realistic mindset that you are going to be competing with a lot of other individuals that have far greater reach than you. So tenacity is what is going to be that keeps you in the game for the long haul. This is an excellent question. Thank you so much to my man, Brian, for asking me on Instagram. In fact, I encourage you, if you are on Instagram and you're watching this, be sure to hit me up at carlosgill83. I'm posting content on there every single day. I'm using Instagram Live, and it's really become one of my go-to social networks here in 2017 to engage with my social community. That's all for now, folks. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Real Talk. If you wanna ask me a question, again, connect with me on Instagram, hit me up on Snap, or visit my website, carloskill.biz. And until next time, peace.